Good evening. I am out in the greenhouse tonight getting ready to make our weekly harvest of our kale. And I wanted to talk to you about what I believe is the best way to grow kale. And I've got two rows of kale here and that row is about four feet long. We have kale spaced in the two rows about 12 inches apart and each plant in each row is spaced six inches apart. When you look at the plant they look similar to a palm tree and that's because we come out here every week and we harvest a couple of leaves from that plant. This is important for a couple of reasons. First off, when you're taking the lowest leaves off of the plant, they're a couple of weeks old and they're going to be tender and taste better. Each week when I take two to three leaves off of every plant, I'm going to stimulate that plant to grow more and that's why they end up looking like little palm trees here. If you grow your kale this way, you don't need a whole lot of kale in your garden because you're taking from the plant every week. We're able to feed a family of four with a four foot bed of kale. It is more kale than we typically can use in the course of a week and we end up putting a lot of it away in the freezer. Our first year doing the Midlighter method, we grew kale and I grew a 30-foot bed of it with each of these plants based six inches apart. When they were established and growing well, I used to take a half truckload of kale to my neighbor's cattle every week because we had so much kale. When you take leaves off of the plant, it's encouraging it to grow to set new leaves. The plant's goal in life is to get to where it produces seeds to start the next generation of plant by continually pruning the plant you're keeping it from that end goal and it's going to continue to make new leaves you keep them coming off that plant is going to continue to grow up and you're going to end up with a kale plant that's over two feet tall like some of the stuff that we have here a little aside here this kale the flavor gets a lot better as the temperatures drop a lot of people will grow this in the summer you can do that. The flavor is much better if you grow it early in the spring or you wait until the temperatures drop in the fall. Kale is a moderately hardy crop so with just a little bit of protection, a sheet of greenhouse plastic over it, you can grow this well into the fall and get an early start in the spring. When I harvest this stuff I do not use any special tools. I know people say to use pruners I have never used pruners on this kale, and you can see it's still doing well. Just be careful with it. You don't want to break the main stem, and you don't want to break the growing tip. If you break off the growing tip, that plant's done, and it won't continue to grow anymore. And all I do is take off two to three leaves from every plant and it will continue to grow. By harvesting frequently like this, there's going to be a lot less, there it's kind of thin up there. There's gonna be a lot less leaf matter on the plant and it's going to be easier to identify when you have insects that are doing damage. We treat all of our kale with BT for the little caterpillar moth that tears them up so bad and when these plants are nearly naked like this it's really easy to see that you need to treat. There's not a whole lot to this it's pretty easy if you I believe that if you give this method a try where you're pruning a couple of leaves from every plant every week that you're going to find that you will have more kale and it will be a little bit easier for you to keep up with. All right, I'm going to get this shut down and get this kale picked. It's getting dark pretty quick. Thank you for watching and happy gardening.